I'm Eric Wielander, welcome back to my channel. So if you're like me and adding a lot of Apple compatible smart home tech to your home, it can get expensive pretty quickly. And that's where Prime Day can be really nice as a way to save money on some of that smart home tech. And I've contacted a bunch of my favorite smart home brands to find out what their deals will be for Prime Day and combed through loads of spreadsheets and documents to find some of my favorite deals to share here with you. And one of them is even up to $300 off. And there's another where I'm gonna tell you not to actually take the deal and spend a little bit more to get the full price thing because it's a better value. And if you're outside the US, well, don't worry. It's not all about US deals. There's plenty of these that work in Canada, the UK, Europe, and even Australia. Now I'll leave links to these deals down in the description, but also all of my reviews on these topics. So even if you're watching this, let's say a little bit after Prime Day, or not really in the market to buy anything new. It can still be a good list of just some good smart home tech you might wanna check out uh, that you might've missed otherwise. So starting out with a global company, based in the EU. Eve has some nice deals for Prime Day, including 30% off their Eve room temperature sensor. Now, a lot of people look at the Eve room temperature sensor and think that it's just overpriced and or a rip off or why would you spend that much? But it turns out a lot of the cheap temperature sensors they throw into a lot of other smart home devices, even in my experience, something like a HomePod mini or a HomePod 2, they're not nearly as accurate. They can be five or even 10 degrees Fahrenheit off of what the probable actual temperature is, or at least even comparing values between two different sensors. So the Eve room has really good Sensirion sensors inside of it. So it'll be much more accurate for temperature, humidity, and even air quality, which can be really important these days to check on your indoor air quality. So at 30% off, it comes down to $70 US, and this deal is also available in France, UK, Italy, Spain, Netherlands, and 25% off in Australia. So you do need to charge the Eve room with micro USB, which is always a bummer, but you can also leave it continuously plugged in if you wanna not have to worry about charging it. Now, another product from Eve, it's really great if you're into HomeKit Secure Video, which is Apple's sort of a video recording standard for catching security video clips around your home and storing them in your iCloud account. I've talked about that a bunch on this channel. Their Eve Outdoor Cam is 25% off in the US and it's also 20% off in in a variety of other countries. So you have to wire the Eve outdoor cam into one of your, let's say existing spots for light fixtures or be able to run uh, wiring for the Eve outdoor cam to somewhere outside so it gets continuous power. It's not a battery operated video camera, uh, but it has a nice security light on there. So if you're replacing a light fixture, you'll still get a light from the Eve camera when it detects motion, let's say, but then you also get a HomeKit secure video camera in there to record clips of whatever's happening. Now, moving on to HomeKit apps. So you might know Apple Home as sort of the app on your phone where you can control your Apple smart home devices, but HomeKit is actually the underlying framework behind that app and many other apps from third-party developers that allow you to do all kinds of cool stuff with your Apple smart home. And there are a bunch of independent app developers, just single person shops that are making these apps and selling them on the app store. And Matt Corey, one of those developers who makes a great app called Signals for HomeKit, has compiled a list of all these different apps on sale for Prime Day. So there's app developers out there in the app store taking advantage of this event as well to give you some discounts. And I wanted to call some of them out here and I'll leave links to all this, of course, in the description. But Controller for HomeKit is a really good sort of power user app for HomeKit, and that's 50% off with the link in the description. And then Signals for HomeKit, both of the in-app purchase levels for Signals for HomeKit are 40 or 43% off uh, their respective uh, in-app purchase prices. That brings the automate level of Signals for HomeKit, which I think is really good, to only five bucks US. So pretty good deal there. And Signals is a really cool app where you can broadcast something to some part of your home that can send a signal, let's say to your children. If you don't wanna to shout to call them to dinner, you can trigger a scene where the lights in their room or the basement or whatever part of your house flash or turn blue for a second and then turn back to being of whatever color. Uh, you can come up with whatever clever ideas you want, but it's a great way to create those kind of temporary automations to send messages to people in your home. And there's also a load of other automation features in 
inside of Signals for HomeKit we don't have time to get to today. But anyways, uh, two great apps to check out. Another great app that's also on sale on this list is HomePass for HomeKit. Uh, it's by the HomeKit developer, Aaron Pierce. Aaron makes a ton of great apps for Apple's HomeKit platform. But HomePass is one I really like because it makes it easy to save those setup codes you scan whenever you add a new HomeKit or matter enabled device to your home. And that can be really handy if you ever have to reset up those devices, especially let's say if you move to a new home someday, it might be hard in the move to find the box where you have that HomeKit code and it's just nice to have it all organized on your phone, backed up to iCloud and uh, easy access there for when you're setting up or resetting up one of your smart home devices. And that app is 33% off for only $1.99 US. So $2, not gonna break the bank on Prime Day and gonna give you some nice functionality there. So another one of my favorite smart home companies, Acara, has some great deals for Prime Day and two that I wanna highlight here that I really love. The first is that their door, video doorbell is 25% off in the US, Canada, and the UK. So this means at $90 US or at 90 British pounds, you're getting basically the lowest price I think I've ever seen for a HomeKit Secure video doorbell. Now, of course, the Acara doorbell doesn't have the best image quality compared to, let's say, the Belkin uh, Wemo doorbell or the Logitech Circle View, but it's still plenty good enough, and it's the doorbell that's currently on my door after I reviewed it earlier this year. And the other cool, cool feature of it as well is it's the only HomeKit Secure video doorbell that works with battery power. So another nice thing if you're not able to get sufficient wired power to a smart doorbell on your front door, like with an older home, let's say. Another product from Acara I love are all of their different sensors that work with Zigbee that are really easy to add to your home, reliable and not expensive. So you can make a lot of your doors have sensors on them or add motion sensors all over the place or leak sensors to find out if there's a pipe or a faucet that's sprung a leak while you're away from your home. You can hopefully react to it faster than it causes a big problem. But to get all of those nice little sensors to work with your home, you need one of Acara's Zigbee hubs. And now my favorite hub of theirs for this to work with Apple Home is their M2 hub. And this is 25% off in the US and 20% off in Canada and the UK. You can hardwire this hub into your network, but you can also connect it via Wi-Fi if you don't have an available port. And I wouldn't be surprised, depending on the sensors you're interested in, if those are all also on sale as well. So Nanoleaf is another company that I love and talk about on this channel. They have some great deals for Prime Day, including 33% off their new matter compatible light strip in the US and 20% off that light strip in Canada. They sent me this light strip along with their new matter compatible essentials bulb. And I'll be talking more about those in a future video on this channel. So subscribe if you don't wanna miss that. And it's just a good solid light strip. Another Nanoleaf product you've probably seen me talk about are the Nanoleaf lines. Now this is a really cool way to decorate a wall with something you can also tie into smart home automations and add all kinds of colors or designs to your wall and kind of bring life to a particular room. And if you see my profile picture here on YouTube, there's some purple lights behind my head. Those are Nanoleaf lines in the background. And their starter kit for Nanoleaf lines is 20% off in the US and 23% off in Canada. So a company I haven't talked about yet on this channel, but I definitely want to more is Sleekpoint and their Air Versa Purell AP2 air purifier. I really love this air purifier. They sent it to me last year and I was gonna do a review about the time frame the HomePod 2 came out and of course, that just erupted my video schedule, but I've been using this in my office ever since. And it connects to Apple Home with Thread, which I think in my experience makes it really reliable. They've had a bunch of software updates as well over time to make it more reliable. It's a nice air purifier for 20% off, which I think brings it down to 136 US dollars. It's great in my home office here, and I have it run for a few hours every morning before I come in here for work. So the air is nice and fresh and clean. So since we have three little toddlers in our house causing a mess all the time, I've been getting more and more into robot vacuums to save me time cleaning up the mess. And that's where the Ecovacs T20 Omni comes into being, I think, a great deal. I reviewed the vacuum recently. They sent it to me, but it's probably my pick for the best top of the line vacuum right now. And it's $100 off, which puts it at $999. So just under $1,000 US 
and it has these rotating mops do a great job cleaning the floor as well as a really powerful vacuum uh, for lifting up dirt from your carpets. A lot of people ask me about the differences between let's say Ecovax and Roborock. I think Roborock tends to have a better customer experience with a better mobile app and sort of design around that. But Ecovax tends to give you more features and value for your money. So it depends on which one you wanna prioritize. But I think right now uh, the Ecovax T20 Omni is probably the best value. Although I'm specifically talking about sort of the high end of the the robot vacuum market. There's a lot of great robot vacuums on sale for much cheaper. One that I reviewed from Ecovax a while back, the N8 Pro Plus is also a great option. We could probably go on and on about robot vacuums, but for now, we'll leave it at that. TP-Link is one of my favorite options for affordable smart plugs, and they have some new matter compatible smart plugs that also work with Apple's HomeKit. And specifically, I'm talking about their KP125 MP2 really rolls off the tongue, but that is a Matter Smart Plug that's 20% off in the US. So this brings a two pack of it down to about $16 per smart plug for two of them, which is a really great deal for Matter compatible smart plugs. Now these do work on your Wi-Fi network. They're not thread based, but that also makes them less expensive. So you can potentially get more of them around your home. And they work with Apple Home as well as Matter and Google and Amazon. Now, SwitchBot. I definitely have some thoughts on SwitchBot, which I will talk more about in an upcoming video. So subscribe if you don't want to miss that. But if you're into SwitchBot and their various products like their Matter Hub and Blind Control, and just their literal bots that control a switch of some kind or a button. Everything they sell is 25% off for Prime Day, and that's true in the US, UK, Canada, and also if you go to SwitchBot's online store in Europe, and you can use an additional code of XM SwitchBot, which gets you another 5% off at any of those places. So then it's not just 25% off all their products, it's 30% off. Now, moving on to my choice for smart switches in your home, Lutron Caseta. They have 20% off a bunch of their starter kits. So if you're thinking of getting into smart switches, it could be a good deal, but I would advise you to spend the 20% more and then get the Diva Dimmer starter kit from them because the new Diva Dimmer and Claro switch from Lutron are much better in my opinion than the original line. I think it's good that Lutron is not abandoning their original line. They're still supporting them. Uh, if you have original line switches in your home already and you wanna buy, let's say a matching one, maybe you can find a deal out there on Prime Day for that. Uh, you, Lutron seems to be running more and more discounts on their original line of switches. Now, if you already have Lutron Caseta switches in your home, and then of course a Lutron Caseta wireless bridge in your home. That's where the next one comes in, which is Lutron Serena Shades. Now, these I think are the best way to have smart shades in your home. It's sparing no expense. They are the top of the line, best you can get. And if you already have a Caseta wireless hub, you can save $100 per shade up to three shades if you purchase between now and July 31st. You'll just need the serial number on your Caseta wireless bridge in order to get this discount. So that's up to $300 in savings. Now, if you're looking at Serena Smart Shades, it's gonna be probably upwards of $1,000 depending on the configuration and details you get. If you go to their website now, you can actually order a free set of samples so you can get an idea of colors and materials that might work well in your space. And then you'll have until the end of July to place that order with them if you're interested. They did a public relations media discount with me so I could get new shades in my bedroom. And I'll say the big advantages of what you're really paying for or getting with Lutron Serena shades are uh, just the, the really quiet motor. So it sounds like a small detail, but when you're opening or closing shades or blinds all the time, uh, the motor on them can sound really high pitched and cheap and annoying. And uh, this just, it very quiet, very subtle, you barely notice it. And it's just really nice that Lutron has spent some time and money to make sure that that motor sounds and works really well. And of course, like all Lutron Caseta wireless products and their Serena Shades products, it's super reliable. I've never had my smart shades go offline or need to be unplugged or reset. They just continue to work every day. And there are a lot of smart home products I love that I can't say that for. 
And the other detail I've noticed is that with my roller shades, there are two roller shades next to each other on windows and they move up and down perfectly in sync. So Lutron has figured out whatever kind of magic needs to happen there so that they're just moving up and down in sync and just looks really slick when you have a bunch of them together. Prime Day has so many deals, it's hard to keep track of them all. So if there's one that you've noticed that you think is really good, you wanna share with everyone down in the comments, please do so. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. it does help everybody find the video and also save money. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already for more Apple smart home videos and I'll see you in the next one.